Hello, this is Freddy Veggie, and today I want to make some baseline measurements. I figured out that A, my room sounds horrible, so I tried correcting that, and I got a lot of the resonance out of here, but now I have a specific ring, so um, it's a journey. Anyways, um, the room obviously is going to make a big difference uh, or have a big impact on the measurements. So I try to get as much of the room out of there as possible, but it's not that easy. Anyways, um, before I start sticking a lot of microphones in front of the didgeridoo, I figured I first got to figure out how big is the uh, equivalent sound area at the bell end of the didgeridoo. So what I did here is I stuck two uh, Lewitt LCT 140 air in front of the didgeridoo, engaged the pad on both and no other filters or air mode or anything. I tried my best to put them as close as possible without touching and they're five centimeters in front of the plane of the bell end. So I'm going to play a little bit and then move one of the mics. One of them is sitting right in the center and the other one is a little bit left of it from my point of view here now. And I'm going to etch this closer and closer to the edge of the bell end and see how much difference the sound makes. To do this measurement uh, I have to assume that my room won't have as much and as uh, of an impact as I fear and um, I'm going to go with the assumption that the Lewitts are indeed matched good enough to make this sort of measurement. And once I'm done uh, recording a few takes and moving the microphones, I will come back and post and try to analyze it and share that with you as well, of course. <laughs> Now I'm going down there and going to move the microphones a little bit, one of them. And repeat the exercise. So now we are approaching the edge of the bell end of the inside. I would say at this point the um, microphone I moved is uh, around about on the same, I would say at this point the mic that I moved is around about at the center of the rim. That is the center of the microphone capsule is pointing directly at the uh, wood material of the bell end. So if the mic was a flashlight, now more than half of it would be shining outside of the ditch, so to speak. I'm 
I would say at this point, only a fraction of the moved microphone still is looking at the inside of the ditch. And now uh, we're essentially pointing outside of the ditch. That is, I can see the whole um, diameter of the diaphragm from here. And I'm going to throw in just one more. That should do it. Um, I'm quite curious to figure uh, to see what I'm gonna figure out in post in analysis. Uh, obviously, I'm gonna record this as well. So, see you in just a moment. And so this is where I realized that on one of the mics, I didn't have the pad engaged. <sighs> well, at least it should be easy, theoretically, to subtract 12 decibels. But I'm inclined to repeat the exercise. Ah, oh, fuck it, let's just repeat it, shan't we? So now we're starting outside. So this is now. So this is now pointing at the rim. Although I'd say uh, still the majority is outside. Getting closer now. Maybe one, two more. So now that's about two millimeters of an air gap between the two of them. Where's it the meters? Let's see. Still half a decibel uh, difference in recording. They're not touching now. This is about as close as I think I can get, practically. <laughs> 